Battered. It's beautiful. If you want to exercise tonight, it is looking good. As we pointed out earlier, Clematis by night, perfect for that event at West Palm Beach and anything going on this evening should be grand. As we head toward the next couple of days, though, watching the Caribbean, our next hurricane will be developing probably by Saturday, where it's going in just a second. Let's begin with a look at our first morning SkyCam Network, Boca Raton, as we wrap up just another incredible day. Blue skies, look at that water. It is incredible again this afternoon with temperatures below average. High temp today, just 85, morning low 70. And as we discussed earlier in the broadcast, dew points in the 60s. So it just feels so good across South Florida. Current temperatures mostly in the low range of the 80s. Boca is 82, West Boca 82. So is Wellington, so is Green Acre, so is a lot of places. So are a lot of places, as you can see in South County. Northern Palm Beach County, we like 81. That's a popular number, 83 right now in West Palm Beach. And finally, along the Treasure Coast, temperatures here also nice and comfy. Mostly sunny skies with those temperatures in the low range of the 80s and dew points just in the 60s. It's just amazing. Again, ordinarily, this type of weather doesn't really show up until November. Skies are clear. There is a little bit of rain just offshore. That's moving away, so it should be nice and quiet again tonight with clear skies. And once again, cool temperatures, nice and comfy, a little warmer in Boca, but look at the Treasure Coast. You'll see temps in the upper 60s mid 60s around Lake Okeechobee tomorrow a little bit warmer humidity just a tad higher but still nice temperatures tomorrow mostly in the mid range of the 80s as we head toward the weekend humidity will increase just a bit more and we'll also see some rain on Saturday and Sunday more about that in just a second now to the tropics where our next tropical system is developing right across Venezuela very low in the latitudes, highly unusual to get a tropical system this low in the latitudes as it continues tracking toward the west. But once it gets away from the influence of land, potential tropical cyclone 13 could become a hurricane. And you can see the forecast track from the hurricane center right into Central America. So no threat to Florida, no threat to Southwest Florida. Nothing to worry about from this one. And by the way, there is another system in the far eastern Atlantic, Tropical Depression number 12. This one just barely hanging on, should be gone later on tonight. Boating improving, but still rough. Seas running two to five feet. Rip current risk is high. Here's your first warning. Seven day forecast tomorrow. Last day of gorgeous weather by the weekend. More humidity, more heat. And as you can see, a little better chance of rain. We'll see a few showers in the morning. The more organized rain around Lake Okeechobee. Then as we head toward Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the pattern continues. And that is your weather. Mike, thank you.